actually remember what it was with a nigga the last time I seen him, no matter what happened, transpires in between, unless I see him do something publicly that disrespects me, and I, I assess our relationship like that. So I ain't seen Schoolboy Q in a long time, basically since he really been cracking. But if you know, if you look on the internet, spot a little Schoolboy Q, J-Rock, uh, we got a song, a real fly song about smoking weed. I think it's called Chronic or something, I forget the name of it. Is the vocal from the Can't Be Faded joint sample from another Nate Nile joint? Nah, that was a record that I was presented for me without the vault. Shaw Money, G Unit shit. That was an original record. Who won the battle with you in game at the video shoot? I did. Ask Malik, the nigga that uh, really dropped that body when Snoop uh, caught the murder. Ask Cuz, Ask Cookie, Rough Rider West Cookie, uh, Ask uh, KP, PK, PK Rough Rider Producer, Ask 97 Eero, Ask DMS, well I think, I don't know what DMS say, you know DMS kind of high as a motherfucker, but I remember what he said that day, shout out game, he remember, BG Knockout, what it do cuz, West Coast Gangsta Rap, Crip Legend, my nigga, it's my nigga. I fuck with Naki. I was honored to be one of the first niggas Naki recorded with when he got out the pen. Get out the past, Rich. A whole lot of new shit going. Do you feel like if gang stayed in G-Unit at the time, you got bigger that G-Unit would have looked good with a crib, of course. Of course. You fuck with Mexican rappers, low? Yeah, shout out Criminal. I'm on Criminal New Shit, song called Grimey. Go check that out. Man, I was shocked. That's like some of the weird shit that started happening when they cut my shit on bank shit and put it on just the international version. And they try to announce it to you like it's not no slight, like it's still cool. I don't know. That's just licks you take when shit start getting weird, my nigga. I never had no representation, my nigga. I was just out there by myself. Everybody had managers and all the other type of shit. I was just out here naive, pushing, cuz, taking niggas' words that they had love for me and that I was in good hands. Yeah, Puff Puff asked. I was one of them ones. That nigga Buck was good with them hooks, cuz. Cuz they hear a record and jump in there and get a gig and do a hook like that you wouldn't really expect, cuz. I had a creative mind with them hooks, that voice. Good looking. They on the Japan release. Life is full of possibilities, I forget. I have to say Monte Go. Amsterdam was like overrated. Like are we situation better than theirs? Or the same. But some of the hardest songs you heard. Mm. Hardest verse I heard to date, one of, go like this and say, and say, I was told, because I didn't witness the whole act, in and out was the movement of the Bozak. It was hot and sweaty with lots of pushing. Then the nut came gushing. It was hell trying to bail to the ovaries with nothing but the Lord looking over me. I was white with a tail. But when I hit the finish line, young black male. One cell makes two and two cells make four. It's on. So now I'm an embryo. And I got a hunch that I'm going to be on lockdown for nine months chilling with my mother to guide me. And nothing but a stomach to hide me from all that worry and bullshit. Nine months later, I elbow pull and kick because my time is up and I don't care with one big push. I'm out of there June 15th. It's just my luck. In 1969, a nigga is the product. That's some of the hardest shit I heard, cuz when a nigga can make being born sound like a gangbang event. I got some motherfucking uh, questions over here. What they say? I've been rocking with your shit since you was on Smack with Young Buck. Good looking. Oh, he, <laughs> he don't like them jellies. Uh, he be wearing jellies? She know you fuck with that politic, and that's what it do, man. It don't bother me. Appreciate that, Jay. Yeah, Cuba beats with that. You know what I'm saying? The product by Ice Cube. Okay, somebody know they shit, Savage. Hey, when I met Ice Cube, cuz I bust that for him, cuz, in the hotel lobby, cuz. That was like one of my only fan moments, cuz. Cuz, like, 
Ice Cube was my favorite, not only because of his vocabulary, he articulated not the gangster shit so hard, but the gang bang shit, my nigga. It's a difference between gangster shit and gang bang shit. Uh, the song with Banks look good. Banks just called me one day and said he had something for me. And I thought it was going to be a verse, but it was actually a beat in the hook and told me to do my thing. But um, Banks was my nigga, girl. You know what I'm saying? Grew up on that West Coast shit. Y'all got some of the best rappers, period. Good looking. I just blanked out, forgot what story I was telling y'all. Top of the morning, move. You already know. Moving coast to coast. I'll be buying weed in your hood a lot. The uh, 25 cap on Florence, your homie, yo. Uh, Security up in there was cut name. Yo, every time I come in there, he bump my shit. Uh, dead homies. It's cut name. I got like five hate that I forget cut name. Cut show me love. Favorite strand of weed. I really don't be tripping on the first name. It'd be that old, uh, that last name. I like OG Indicus. Man, Ice Cube in the lobby. Yeah. What it say? Listen through EP a few times at the moment. Rolling the dopest joint. Hey, shout out C Heck. And K9 the boss, man. Niggas been real inspirational in my rebirth, my nigga. You did. Ice gangster, game bag and shit. I spot it. You tell all these rap stories, focus on music right now. And write a book in the future about what you've seen and went through in the rap game. Yeah, I'm on it, my nigga. Everything you just said. Plenty music, writing a book, and telling the stories. Drop a live, a line live here at your door. Y'all know, damn, no brain rain in the food chain like a goddamn well. I forget how that shit go. I appreciate you doing my catalog. I seen you at the Get Up video shoot behind the scenes. I was that last time you seen Fifth. Nah, I remember, if, I don't know if you remember, I've been telling the story, I popped up on Fifth a few times when I wasn't being invited to no videos. I want to say a few times, I remember one time at the radio station, I went up and hollered at him in and followed him to the hotel room and broke bread and chopped it up with him. And I think, I believe that was the last time I've seen him. I need that weed you got hard to find, a good strain where I live. Where do you live? Pooh Rider from Two P's. Pooh Rider was a fool, cuz. I mean, we used to be with Death Row, we used to go out to the club, we used to be on this mob shit like us against them, no matter. But then that was the case. I was in a defensive posture. Pooh the pool route used to be so turned up, cuz it's like we'd jump out the car and get to walking up to the club and like it'd be some niggas there and he'd be on them so so banging on them so hard, then the niggas would be from Harlem or something, but they dress like players, so they you might not expect they active. And I got to the point where like Ooh, he like death row cripping blood like together and niggas Harlem like spider cat what's up with this nigga so I used to have to be like holding pull out of back like this certain politics man you gotta be careful my nigga like you feel me so pull out was like full speed you know what I'm saying all kind of blue fly I agree I live in the DMV they be on that fuck shit